little bit. Uh, let me feel myself a little bit. Little bit, little bit. You ain't talking big. Get out my way, little bit. Just like the hands on the clock. Come like a bat of the hell, I dare you to cross like a reverend, and my energy paralyzed. I'm like a finger of lemon. Like a finger like a pair of the You're the best. If it ain't me, then you need to a confession. You a mess. Uh -huh, you ain't scary to me. Scary to me. Pick up some of a cheetah, run up and I'm there in the scene. I'm just like a cheetah prince, and I'm an heir to the seat. I mean, for real. Test the driver's soft, so I don't even grab the wheel. That's a lot on my chest, but it don't mean the man is stealing. Man, I'm walking with some money, man. I mean a couple mil. <clears throat> You ain't even eating while I'm feasting in the field. That's why I'm always cheesing, cause I feel like Uncle Phil. And all this loose things, the first but they ain't half the man as well. Are you irresponsible without your money or not? Thought he had a plan, but we gon' foil his plot. Man, I'm sneaking in, so we just ran in the spot. And now we spin the block around, just like the hell on the clock. Are you irresponsible without your money or not?
mug on a billboard. Thank the good Lord, I'm gifted. Oh, sh- overflowing with the sauce. I'm never holding back. I'm going in my top and middle finger. Poke it through the casket. No concern. I'm tragedy to tragedy. For you knew what happened. Ain't no explanation. This is second nature. I'll automatic. Grinding since I'm young and they told me my timing was coming. I've been hustling with no fun and forget all the fame. Get the money, I'm out of that lay where it's sunny. I've been eating since I'm young and since we ain't had food in our tummy. That life we was living ain't funny, but you cannot take nothing from me. Put that on my mama, my daughter, my cousin, my brother. I'll show you. Way better than I can tell you. The type of dreams that they say. That's why I learned from my failures. Don't do the handouts or the favors. Told my brother I'ma get this paper. What's left behind, I'll see it later. Well, the roof is closed, but as you can probably tell, the mouths of these Cowboy fans could not be more wide open. It is a frenzied AT&T Stadium in Arlington. Coming up, it's a battle to represent the NFC in this year's Super Bowl. And we've got a classic in store between the Detroit Lions and the Dallas Cowboys. And a fair catch signaled for and taken successfully. here back at the 23 yard line call it officially a loss of two on the first play from scrimmage second down at the 23 yard line
see if that pick six looms large as this game continues because we've seen plays like that alter a lot of playoff contests over the years. I would agree with that totally. And you often think to yourself, why do they alter it so much? Because after games, don't we hear coaches and players say, well, one play doesn't usually determine the outcome. But I don't think that's really true, do you? Because there's times when we see plays like that, and all of a sudden the momentum jumps to that team side, it depletes the other side, and they never pick it back up. And then things really go from there, don't they? That's the thing for me. We talk about momentum changes. A play like that is the ultimate momentum change. Dallas offense here set to begin the drive. They'll need to come from behind if they want to play in two weeks as they trail early in this NFC Championship game. A running play there, going to get 11 as they get a quick first down. We often give credit to the O-line there. Two tight end formation. Those tight ends block pretty well also. Yeah, that's one of the most dynamic positions in football now. The tight ends who can block at the line of scrimmage at the point of attack, and they can also get downfield and catch the football. So from the 36 now, first and 10. They keep on the ground with Allen. And the hole closes quickly there. He gets maybe a couple up to the 38. Oh, well, that's a real nice job there by the defensive front. They just engaged and held their ground. But how about the guy who made the play? We often talk about whether they take a good first step or not. Many times you just don't take any step. Just get your feet moving, get your body going. And then once he made the read, he was able to make the play. Here's a throw out wide complete to his running back right side. Able to rip off a big chunk of yardage before being dropped inside the 40. 23 yards the pick up there. That was a beautifully executed screen pass. Let the rushers get upfield. The blocking forms in front. Lofted it to the runner. And now, not only does he have open space in front of him, he's got an escort as well, and they pick up big yardage. point away from tying the football game. It's up and good. So these teams match touchdowns here in the first quarter, and we're tied 7-7. Seven, seven. Seven. So I'll leave it at 7 now as they kick it away. And no return on this one as the fair catch is single four and taken. The Lions take over first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. the tight end. Good work after the catch. Gets him 15 and a first down. I know this may be jumping the gun a little bit, but 7-7. Seven to seven, They're flinging it around like crazy. Look at the drive that's going on here. Partner, we may have to start thinking about one of these defenses just holding someone to a field goal and maybe trying to get advantage that way. So quickly all the way up at the 40-yard line. Taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. It's a gain of 14 and a first down for Detroit. A gain of 14. First down, Lions. Now it's Jackson. Flush to his right. He was knocked as he threw it, and it took the ball off course. Well, they've got man coverage on the outside, and my scouting report on these DBs tells me that they love to take matters in their own hands. They want man coverage, not zone, and there was good coverage there that forced the incompletion. A 
Again on second and ten, it's Jackson. That'll be taken in there by Kenny Galladay. Yeah, he is out of bounds, but not before he's inside the 30. His first catch in this NFC Championship game, and it's a first down. they're on right now it looks a lot like what we saw in practice prior to the game doesn't it you know because on that last big practice beforehand you go through your offensive script you go through your play calling you go through all the stuff and establish things and it looks like it's going like clockwork right now for them flushed out right this will be caught at about the six and he'll get into the end zone touchdown detroit Touchdown. A 15-yard touchdown grab. And the Lions have taken the lead. But well, we know someone just added to his touchdown passing total, but all he did was get the ball out quickly to his tight end and let him take care of business the rest of the way. Now after the touchdown, here's Pinheiro to kick it off. Here catch made at the 25-yard line. The Cowboys take over first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. About set for this next drive by the Cowboys offense. And they're hoping to redo their efforts in the last drive when they got into the end zone. And just think of what it's like now on the sideline. Because when you score a touchdown, you have to go over and look at the tablet and see what you did on the last drive. When you scored points, it's a whole lot better view than when you're trying to figure out how to fix things there. Deep ball for Goodwin. He's got a man complete. And all the way down to the 35. It's a big play for the Cowboys on third. And even 40 yards. So that changes things a bit. Here's a first and 10 all the way down at the 35. Here's Elliott. He's got a first down and much more inside the 20. And he's going to get it all the way down to the 10-yard line. 24 yards the game there. Another first down as well. Boy, some big runs here, Charles, already in this first quarter. Yeah, if the lanes are there, go ahead and exploit them. But what I like the most, how decisive he is, putting his foot in the ground and going. This is Elliott. And he's going to be brought down just shy of the five at the six. Give him five on the carry there, and it'll be second down. Well, they're making an effort to get the ground game going tonight. So far, it's working. I like what we're seeing from the offensive line. They seem to have the leverage going and they're controlling things and reestablishing the line of scrimmage, moving that defensive front backwards. But also like what the runner's giving us, too. It appears that he's been waiting all day long to get out here and take off. The first down run got five. Here's second and five. Now Elliott. And he is into the end zone for a Cowboy touchdown. Ezekiel Elliott with his second touchdown in this opening quarter. And the Cowboys are an extra point away from tying the football game. And we've got a good one brewing. We're all knotted up at 14. This one tied at 14 now as he sends this one away. Here catch made at the 25-yard line. The Lions take over first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. The Lions offense ready to kick off their next drive. And Charles, the way touchdowns have come so fast and furious for both sides in this thing, it's starting to feel a little bit more like maybe a tennis match in a football game. Yeah, I like your description there. Maybe we're sitting in a nice royal box watching this type of a game. But let's face it, right now, the way it's going back and forth, it's going to come down to who can get a stop. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. Pretty interesting. 
entertaining start. 14 all the score on EA Sports. 14-14. Across the 43 extra yards to the 43. Take him down. I give him four yards there. It'll be second and six. Well, on every play call, you realize it's not going to go for a touchdown. So a lot of your calls are setting things up for maybe later in the game. Trying to establish the inside run. Run with toughness now. Hopefully get to the perimeter later. And let's face it, you could do worse than a four-yard run on first down. To throw on second and six. Jackson. And left side here, it's Graham. And he's going to be out of bounds, but not before he takes it inside the 40. The catch and run, good for 18 and a first down. And this was a nice example of an offensive coordinator scheming his guy open. Just a little underneath route, just trying to free up some space. And it worked awfully well. Got him not just space, but plenty of room to run after the catch to pick up really nice yardage. They'll run on first down. It's Graham. And they're able to get this one past the 30 to the 25-yard line. Back-to-back -back nice gains. That one for 14 yards and another first. First down, Detroit. Now Jackson. And seeing no options, he just tosses this one away incomplete. Now that'll bring up second down. They've given up a few first downs on this drive, but getting the incompletion there, that should give them something to build on and maybe turn the tide. An incomplete pass leads to second and 10 from the 25. Going to give this time to the tailback. They get him to the ground right on the cusp of the red zone after a pickup of five or six. And it's Graham here, the one who is still down. And looks like he's in some pain. While the trainers take a look, we'll step aside. They try to finish off this drive with six points. But one of the ways the quarterbacks keep all the receivers alive in a play, never lock in on any one guy. Make sure you keep your eyes moving, scan the field. And here he finds the open guy for a nice pickup. will use the first of their timeouts. They'll have two remaining as we step aside here in this second quarter. Tie as they take the lead. 
people always talk about one of his biggest strengths running the football vision and he found the spot there went into the end zone you're exactly right about that it wasn't just the vision right once he saw the gap decisiveness made up his mind and about the power to finish the play not only did he get good blocking he created his own space as well He's up across the 25 and down at the 28. The Dallas offense here set to begin the drive. They'll look for a drive to tie this up. Down 21-14 as they have it first and 10. And not much. Maybe a yard up to the 29. The ball carrier. That's time for them to be good teammates right here. What I mean by that is possess the ball for a little while. Get at least two first downs. Give their defense a chance to settle down a little bit after they give up a touchdown. The run only got a yard. Here's second and nine. Tough going there as he'll only get it up to about the 31. Two runs in a row, but only two yards to show for it. I think if we put together a job description for a middle linebacker, we would start with being able to hold down things in the middle of the line of scrimmage and be able to take on blockers. But how about the guys who can go sideline to sideline and make plays? Love a guy that can do that. We saw a perfect example of it right there. Third down, it's Prescott. They set up the screen to Elliott. And he'll get it up near the 35, right at the 34 here. Three yards, all they could muster there, and it'll bring up fourth down. So on fourth down, here's Chris Jones to punt it away. Two minutes remain in the first half of this NFC Championship. A reminder, as we've done all year, we'll send you to Orlando for our EA Sports Halftime Report in a bit. The coach is with us per usual. As we start to look ahead, Charles, to our potential matchups in this year's Super Bowl. Break it down, coach. Break it down. At their own 15-yard line. offense ready to kick off their next drive and right now they're saying hey let's keep this going two drives two touchdowns yeah can't ask for a better start than that can you i mean this is the way you practice it this is the way you rehearse it but right now the play calling they locked in really well and he almost gets this to the 30 taken down about a yard shy first play of the drive going for 14 and a first down first down play action it's jackson and he'll be hit as he releases it. And that'll fall incomplete. Kenny Galladay is intended receiver. And that'll bring up second down. I think he's got to be careful not to force anything into coverage right there. There weren't really any throwing lanes. But the best part for him, he's got second and third down to fall back on. Here's second and ten now from the 29. throw again. Jackson. Another throw for Galladay. This one complete. And he'll be out of bounds, but able to get it up past the 45. 19 yards to pick up there. Move the chains. First down, Lions. On first down, escaping the pressure right. Open man, he's got him, the tight end, Hawkinson. And they'll get him down as he's inside the 40. The Lions now going to use the second of their timeouts as they'll get a chance to talk it over after picking up the first down. And 
Jackson throwing once more. And that's going to be incomplete. Too tough to hold on to that one. It's second down. As this old brain remembers, when I see five wide receivers on the field as a defender, I know the ball's coming out hot. They expected it and got there and popped it free. the incomplete pass here now is second and ten and the Lions quickly now going to use the last of their timeouts as they'll talk things over prior to this upcoming second down play He lets this one fly toward the back of the end zone. And that is caught, but he will come down out of bounds, says the side judge, incomplete. Oh, he'll want that one back, incomplete. He doesn't drop too many in that department. Third down. Yards to go. throw again. And he'll find Galladay. That's complete. And he takes this just a few yards shy of the red zone before going out. 15 yards for the Lions there on a first down. Stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight-yard gain, second and two. From the shotgun now, here's an inside give. And they'll bring him down at the 13-yard line. From the 13 now, they work on first and 10. Here's second and 10. Jackson now, eluding the pressure right. Galladay's got it, and the Lions have a touchdown. Kenny Galladay as the first half is winding down, and the Lions add on to their lead. Partner, to me, that touchdown had something that was kind of rooted in that group seeing the future. And what I mean by that is they had a plan. Let's find a way to score right here before the half. And now to give us momentum going into the second half, give us that cushion that we're looking for, they got that accomplished, scoring right before the half ended. And yeah, that'll be a little too hot to handle as it will skip through the end zone for a touchback here. About set for this next drive by the Cowboys offense. Now we're under 20 seconds to go in the half. I'm guessing the wise play here is be safe. And that is the wise play because if you think about trying to fool them here, here's what you're facing. You're facing a loosened up secondary, playing a lot deeper than normal. So even if you run some type of misdirection, you're only going to fool them for a second or so. And guess what? They're so deep, they're really not going to be out of position. Take the knee, get to the locker room. 
takes us beyond the 35 before going out of bounds. Give him 14 on that one and a first down. First and 10 at the 37-yard line. So after a good run by Zeke, another first and 10. Out of the gun, here's Prescott. And a result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves him with two to go on second down. And with just four seconds left in this first half, a timeout call. a second and two after that last catch good for eight yards final play of the half Prescott Time here in the NFC Championship as we'll get you over to Orlando where standing by is Jonathan Coachman. He has our EA Sports halftime report. Brings their line to kick off for Dallas. The Dallas Trophy still hangs in the balance as the second half now underway in the NFC Championship game. ready to kick off their next drive. They are just putting things together so well here, drive after drive. They really have captured the momentum, haven't they? They've taken momentum and pretty much not just give him a jersey, but a seat on the bench as well. Whatever do you need, you've got it, because the way they're stringing things together and creating that distance between them and their opponent, it's really hard to narrow that gap. And the other part is, they're taking their spirit away from them, too. Yeah, now they're just looking to add to that total. They'll keep it on the ground. Graham. And he'll bring it up here to right at the 40-yard line. Six yards to pick up, and that's a first down. Well, you certainly have to give a little credit here because they're playing this game now at their pace. This is ball control football, sustained runs, taking their time, and making it work. First down, Graham. The all-pro in two positions. Khalil Mack there to make the stop. He's certainly a nice job there by the defense rallying to the football and getting him on the ground. But I think the play gets made by the defensive front because if they can't get upfield, their job is to go ahead and get low, almost get into a ball sometimes, stack things up, and make it difficult for the runner to find a hole. A four-receiver look here. Three out to the left, one to the right on second and eight. And now Jackson will look to throw it. Oh, it's a screen pass. That's complete. And he goes out of bounds. It looks like right at the 50. That one, a first down pickup of eight. For a second there, I thought that might break big. Screen pass. Looked like it was coming together. Looked like there was an opening. Still ended up with a solid game. They'll run on first down. It's Graham. Stop made there by Gerald McCoy. Well, at the end of all that hitting and hollering, it was a four-yard run, so the offense is going to go back to that and feel pretty good about themselves. Defensively, you have to feel okay because you didn't let it turn into a bigger run, but the goal, shut it down for two yards or less. That's when you start to feel good about yourselves. They'll keep it on the ground. Graham. They'll get only a couple down to the 44. 
Xavier. Typically, we think it's the strong safeties that are better tacklers, especially closer to the line of scrimmage amidst traffic. But in this case, how about the free safety coming up and making the big-time play? To throw is Jackson from the gun on third down. Open man is Galladay, complete. And he is going to have a Lions first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. No question that they're going to continue to look his way. Six catches in the first half and now seven on the game. They go play action now. Jackson. post because officials always tell you I don't want to throw the flag but you caused the play you did it I had to now a out there he does get a couple taking it from the five out of the three well, the spotlight hit him once already tonight as he got into the end zone he was trying to make it a double spotlight wasn't he a credit the defense bottling him up not letting him get in for the second score there so the ball position now at the three. Here's second and goal. They'll run with Swift. And he takes this one in for a Lions touchdown. A three-yard touchdown run. And the Lions are able to extend their lead. Well, Charles, fans around here, they were already talking Super Bowl. They've made plans. You just can't look past anybody in this league, especially this deep into the playoffs. You would think that every year that message would sink in, and it feels like every year we see something like this, especially the way they're handling it. All right? You, you didn't expect this part to happen. But when you're playing this deep in the playoffs, every team's dangerous. The Dallas offense here set to begin the drive. They trail offense, first time to touch the ball in quarter three, and we'll see what they can do. I can't wait to see what they have planned because some teams script to start a half. Other teams just go, okay, these are the sequence of plays we want to run. These things worked well for us. And sometimes they throw in that big chunk play right away. Shocker. Try and get after them early and try and create a big play to give themselves some momentum. See what they have up their sleeve. Now this throw caught left side. And this is good for a first down, his second grab of this NFC Championship bout. Now Prescott. Now they go screen. It's complete. Now they get a first down and more. And he's going to be out of bounds right at midfield. 14 yards. Good for a Cowboy first down. They ran that one well. And not only did they pick up a nice chunk of yardage on the screen, they sent a message to the defense. Rush the passer all you want, but you better be careful. We can hit you going back the other direction. Here's a pass swung out left to his running back. And he'll lose yardage on the play back at the 45-yard line. So it goes as a completed pass, but they lose a full five yards. They play fake to Elliott. Now Prescott. Going deep here for Allen. Prescott, his third interception. Picked off at the 15. So that's back-to-back -back drives where they've thrown an interception. Ordinarily, we look at the offense and say, what's going on with your scheme? Maybe we should look at the defense and just give them a whole lot of credit. They've got them frustrated right now. On first down, Graham. They get him to the ground right on the cusp of the red zone after a pickup of five or six. 
Well, that last run makes this a 100-yard night. I've loved the way he's hit the holes. He's been quick, he's been decisive, and he's been a whole lot of fun to watch. After the pickup of five, here's second and five. One quarter remains until the NFC crowns its champion. We'll return with more after this break. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. They'll keep it on the ground. It's Graham, and he'll get only a couple up to the 22. Brandon, I've got to think this offensive line has got some smiles on its faces. And, and I know it sounds crazy, but they practiced for this back in training camp. They knew they'd be in situations where it'd be extra defenders in the box coming after them, trying to keep them from locking down a game. Right now, they want to show the world they're up to the challenge. Jackson looking to throw on third. To the right and complete to Galladay. And he'll be out right at the 35. First down, Lions on a pickup of 13. 13 yards. And the Lions first down. And he'll give it here to his running back. And for one of the first times tonight, he's going to be held up at the line of scrimmage. Brought down. Call it no gain on the play, and it'll be second down. No gain on the play. Second and 10 at the 35-yard line. Officially nothing on that last run. They'll try again, second and ten. They'll keep it on the ground. It's Graham, and he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. It'll be a loss of a full three yards there, and it also brings up third down. up fourth down Three yards. brings up fourth down here comes the lions punter now always a good sign when your first punt comes in the fourth quarter this is taken at the 15 the danger of a punt that good a 16 yard return and the cowboys will take over the football with a first and 10. About set for this next drive by the Cowboys offense. And their dream of a Super Bowl berth so close three quarters ago, but obviously starting to slip away if it hasn't already. They need points here and in a hurry. Intended that time for Cooper, and it's second down. That's an excellent play by the defender. He diagnosed that one, closed quickly, and helped force the incompletion. Here's second and 10 now from about the 32. from the gun. And for the fourth time tonight, it's an interception. Picked off by Will Harris. You got to love it, baby. Give me some he will bring it back. An interception return for a Lions touchdown. Eddie Pinheiro lining up for the extra point. And that one will pretty much erase any hopes of a fourth quarter comeback. With emphasis, the interception, return for touchdown. Door Lions closed, locked, Cowboys reinforced. 14. So they throw the pick six. They'll get another shot at it now as this one's in the air. This one taken just inside the 10. And able to take it past the 25 and up to the 28-yard line. Their own 28-yard line. Bring it up, bring it up, bring it up. The Dallas offense here set to begin the drive. And you can sort of sense their dejection. That last pick six. Put the icing on the cake, so to speak, in what has been a rough go for them. And give him six yards here as he's stopped near the 35 at the 34. They go to Elliott again. And he'll get it out near the 40 to the 39. 
So signs of life in what's been a dormant offense in this second half. Here's first and ten. They'll run with Elliott. And they'll get him down after a pickup of eight. Second and two. Eight yards the tally on that first down run. Here's second and two. They'll try to throw now. Prescott. And hit the slam route. That's caught by Cooper. And it's going to be another first down as they'll get him to the ground at the Lions 35. First and 10 at the 30. To throw is Prescott. And now here's another interception. Picked off here at 29. And they're going to set up shop at the 32-yard line. That is now five interceptions that he has thrown in this ball game. If I ask you to speculate what's possibly going on in his head, what would you say? Well, if he's as mentally strong as I believe he is, he understands that not all these picks have been his fault. You know, some have thrown, yes, but have been a good number of them where he hasn't been helped by his own receivers, and they've turned into interceptions. So he knows if he keeps firing, perhaps good things can happen, not just in this game, but especially in later ones. Just two minutes remaining here in the fourth quarter of what has been a one-sided affair. So the Lions in possession of the football as we welcome you back. And they have just about put this one on ice as they've got it here first and ten. They'll run on first down. Graham, and he's going to take this one up only to about the 44-yard line. From there to make the tackle, Khalil Mack. That's it. That's what you want. Straight ahead, positive game. Just keep that clock ticking. At the 44-yard line. They'll keep it on the ground. It's Graham. And taking it across midfield and just shy of the 40. 15 yards on the play, first down. Now this is an example of breaking down a defense because on a lot of these runs, he's getting past the point of attack. And guess what he's doing? Forcing the secondary guys to have to make a lot of tackles. On first down, Graham. Call it a gain of four on first, and that'll make it second down. End result of that one, a nice four-yard gain. So you can use that to set up your play-action game, or you can come right back and continue to run the football because as an offensive play caller, you're on schedule and feeling pretty good about your next couple of calls. This was the goal before they started the season, to play in a Super Bowl, and that's exactly what they're going to do. And this is why songs are written about teams. Okay, you go back, some teams wrote them early in the season about their goal of getting to the Super Bowl. This one, they're going to be able to break it out now because their goal was to get there and they achieved it. How about that? That's pretty fantastic. And that does it for the conference championship. For Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gunn. And for our entire crew, we'll see you two weeks at the Super Bowl. This is the NFL on EA Sports. I'ma win, I won't lose with this. Ay, yeah, I'ma act a fool with this. Ay, yeah, I'ma act a fool with this. Ay, yeah, I'ma act a fool with this. Ay, I'm a turning up, can't resist, I'm incredible. I'm incredible. Yeah, came for the dollars, call it basketball.